Jackie Robinson hit that ball. It went zoom across the left field wall. Yeah, boy. Yes, yes, Jackie hit that ball. I saw his bat, the crowd went wild because he knocked that ball a solid mile. Yeah, boy. Yes, yes, Jackie hit that ball. What's going on guys? It's your boy Sneaker Nerds and we are back with another review. Today we got a Nike Dunk, but not just any ordinary Nike Dunk like the Panda that we reviewed. I said it was the new uh, Air Force One. No, this is, I feel, going to be a very iconic piece of history in the future. It is, well, how about this? I'll just show you and you guys tell me in the comments. But before that, make sure you guys like, comment down below what you guys think, and make sure you smash that subscribe button with bell notifications on, because the next few videos I'm about to put out is some heat, and I promise you, you're not going to want to miss it. Let's just get right into this box. So you just got your regular Nike Dunk box. It's not an SB, which this they should have made this an SB. Would have probably been a better shoe, but... I'm not mad that it's not an SB. I I just I really like this shoe, and it just recently dropped Tuesday. If you can't already tell, this is the Jackie Robinson tribute shoe that Nike came out with. If you guys don't know anything about Jackie Robinson, he was the first African American Major League Baseball player drafted to the Brooklyn Dodgers. Yes, Brooklyn. Everybody nowadays. My generation, if you're watching this and you're younger, you're like, Brooklyn Dodgers? No, it's the Los Angeles Dodgers. No, back then, they were still in Brooklyn. So that's really what this colorway is from. It's from the Brooklyn Dodgers colorway. And if you guys see, it's got a whole bunch of writing on it. And it's, it's a quote from Jackie, because uh, it's kind of hard to see, but if you, if you start, if you try to find where it starts, then you'll be able to. It says, I'm not concerned with you liking or disliking me. All I ask is that you respect me as a human being. And that is what is printed all over this shoe. It is on the sole insert also, which I am a big fan of this shoe. Right now, if you look on StockX and go, the shoe is going for a lot. Now mind you, this shoe just came out and it was $110 retail and it's I think my size is $450 and personally I will probably never sell this shoe just for the simple fact of like this is like gonna be I feel like a historical piece one day there was a fly in here and I don't know why but <laughs> anyway the shoe is definitely a one-of-a-kind shoe I mean I'm definitely I will definitely undead stock this for sure I'm gonna pretend like that fly is not there overall the quality of this shoe is not bad at all the only thing I see is like a little piece of the stitch fraying up at the top right here but other than that it's it's pretty decent I like what they did with the laces it's almost like a baseball. It's the stitching. You know, you got the white lace with the blue stitching around it to make it represent a baseball. If you look at the tongue, it says 75 years. Let me get this out for you. It says 75 years breaking boundaries. Now with that tongue, what that means is that in 1947, April 15th, Jackie Robinson went from the minor league I think that's what they called it don't quote me on that but on that day he was signed to the that was his debut onto the Brooklyn Dodgers but now it is called the LA Dodgers and he was a first baseman and it's just astonishing that he was the first African-American up into this point to play in bit uh, Major League Baseball what he did was amazing and if you don't know right here on the shoe it has his number 42 in 1997 on April 15th his number was retired from 
the Major League Baseball. So which what that means is is that number 42 no player could ever have again. And then in 2004, April 15th, they made that the first Jackie Robinson Day. And from there on out, every April 15th, whatever team was playing that day, they wore the number 42 to not show a difference because they were all, you're all the same. It's got a Nike lo uh, Nike check up here. I'm not too sure what that means. I don't know if it's just because it's a special shoe. The only other Nike check I seen like this was the uh, Pata Air Maxes. And then they come with a separate pair of laces. And it's really just looks like the laces from the Union Dunks. Like if they would have did this blue and they put white stitching like they did right here, they would have knocked it out the park. On the back, you got the Nike logo. It's a black sole. Then you got the with the the white midsole with the blue stitching. If you guys can see that, I think that's really really nice. Overall, I am going to give this shoe a 10 out of 10. That's very hard for me to say 10 out of 10, but for it being a Jackie Robinson tribute shoe i 100 percent back this shoe and i just i am i'm truly a supporter of this shoe it's gonna it would be actually easy to match with this because you could just put on something blue like my hat i have on i can put that with a white shirt and then boom wear this with some black shorts you know i definitely can't wait until the next jackie robinson day in april the 15th because I'm definitely going to try and go to uh, hopefully the Pirates play so I can walk there and wear this shoe because 42 this shoe is definitely going to be you, you can sell it now and make a like a $300 profit or if you hold it it I feel it's going to go up and I'm never going to get rid of this shoe just for the simple fact, it is like near and dear to my heart because I, I really like I I like Jackie Robinson. Like I, I love the movie Forty Two. I I've watched it five times over, and I'll go watch it again. Like it was the first time. But on the swoosh, you got you got the leather swoosh, and then you got like a the fabric. I think it's like uh, Durbecker. Uh, maybe it might be uh suede, but it's it's cool that it's it's two layered. I really like that, and then it's stitched in the middle to the shoe itself. But I hope you guys enjoyed this this shoe, the little bit of history behind Jackie Robinson. If you didn't know, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, put the bell notifications on, and comment down below what you guys thought about the shoe. If you have any other like historical things about Jackie Robinson that I didn't really uh, say that you guys know, because I'm, I'm all ears, I like hearing facts about him and uh, your opinion on him. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one.